Hello everyone, welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. Today, I am at Popeyes. You know, Popeyes, for years now, has been famous for their chicken sandwich, which caused such a craze. And the regular, then the spicy. Then they added the blackened chicken for a limited time, which is now back permanently. All good sandwiches. And they've recently added a new variant, which I'm going to try for you today. And it has really nothing to do with the chicken, or the bread, or the sauce. It's just a simple addition of two ingredients, bacon and cheese. So I have a sandwich here. I just got the classic version. You can get this on the classic, the, the spicy, the blackened, or the spicy blackened version. But to get the taste of the cheese and the bacon um, in its most unmolested form, I got the classic sandwich, which just comes with pickles and mayo and the chicken. And now, Swiss cheese... I believe it's Swiss because it's got like holes in it and it's a white color and looks like three half strips of bacon. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Look how much mayo is right here. I didn't ask for extra mayo. There's a huge glob of mayo right there. I probably just maybe just squished out there, but huge glob. Well, the bacon for sure is adding flavor to this. The cheese is not flavorless, but you want to taste it by itself. It has, the cheese has a special mild flavor. That's not really adding a bunch to the sandwich. The bacon, however, it's crunchy, it's salty, it's got that smoky, bacony deliciousness to it. Combine that with the juicy chicken sandwich. They've taken a already delicious chicken sandwich and definitely elevated it with the addition of this bacon. It's a good quality bacon too. It's not flimsy. It's not too thin. You can feel it. You can taste it. It's crunchy. It's tasty. It's everything you want bacon to be and it's already on a delicious sandwich. I'm going to give the at least for sure the bacon part of this two thumbs up the cheese it doesn't ruin it but it just doesn't add much to it in this case it just gets lost in all the other delicious flavors um, I do have their new premium mango lemonade which tastes like mango and lemonade so I'm gonna give this one a single thumbs up it doesn't blow me away but it is refreshing and it tastes like mango and lemonade and it doesn't taste like syrup lastly as a little bit of bonus for this I noticed they also have their ghost pepper wings back 
It's been a while since I've tried it, so I'm just going to remind myself how their ghost pepper wings taste. Not a bunch of spice on the nose, but smells can be deceiving sometimes. Let's give it a taste. No immediate spicy punch. Well, I'm imagining that my reaction today is going to be what my reaction was if and when I tried this before. I honestly don't remember. But it's really not spicy. Uh, there is some spice to it. And after eating the whole wing, you're waiting for anything to build up. I do feel some very mild, tingly bits in like the very back where I was really chewing a lot by my rear molders here um, but nothing lingering maybe uh, very low tolerating spice people or small children might say that is spicy um, but I think for the average person these ghost pepper wings are just going to be a-okay to eat um, without much uh, regret. Anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I do suggest you try out the bacon cheese on top of the Popeye's chicken sandwich. Uh, I think it definitely works on the crispy one. I'm for sure that it will work on the blackened or the spicy versions of any of them. So go out, try them yourselves. Tell me what you think in the comment section below. And don't forget to come back to watch my next video, like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Adios.